Now we're to the closing statements. And once again, I come up with a scientific method for the closing order. Your closing statements are two minutes. And the first one to present this closing statement is Mr. Kinnear. I'm honored to be endorsed by thousands of citizens all over our county, including city and district officials, volunteers, businessmen, and alumni, and their parents. I'm especially proud to have received the endorsement of the California Teachers Association, representing the concurrence vote of each of the 23 teacher groups in Riverside County and the Riverside County Office Teachers Association. These are the reasons that I received the endorsement from our teachers. I know that we can do better for our students. Every citizen should know where their tax dollars went and what impact they had. As your county superintendent, I will not avoid RCOE accountability. I will work vigorously to return, uh, to return local control to our districts. I do not believe that a bigger federal, state, or county government is better. I will work relentlessly to expand career and vocational classes. I believe that the job of the Riverside County Superintendent of Schools is all about leading schools and supporting the work of the classroom. Our business is learning. As I travel throughout the county and speak with voters, it is clear that there is a growing sentiment that change in leadership is, is needed. The endorsement of my candidacy by our teachers is but one example that demonstrates that point. The time is now to return an educator experienced in successful school reform to the office. Most folks I know wouldn't hire a mechanic who's never fixed a car or a sheriff who's never been a police officer. I am a candidate who has walked that talk. I offer one campaign promise and it comes from the bottom of my heart. Just one year after my election, everyone will know who the Riverside County Superintendent of Schools is and what he does because I will be visible and vocal in my effort to increase the achievement of all students in this county. Thanks. Responsibilities of the county superintendent. We've talked about campaign pledges. We've talked about a lot of things. We've talked about a lot of rhetoric. Um, but I have to tell you, every day, every day, I am out in the schools. Every day, I am out working with the, the people, and the, the teachers, the students, the, the administrators in our county office and our, in the schools across the county. I see great things happen. I see wonderful things happen. Much of what I've heard tonight is what, what, what's failing in our schools. I gotta tell you, there's great things happening in our schools, and I see it every single day. It's something to be proud of. Now, do we have room to grow? Oh, yes, we do. Are we growing? Oh, yes, we are. Yes, we are. We're making academic improvement on all fronts. So the concept that we're failing, that we're wasting, that were irrelevant to things. And when people don't know, they make up things. When people don't understand, they wonder. And ladies and gentlemen, you've heard a lot tonight. You've heard some opinions and you've heard some facts. And I just want to tell you this, that I am honored to be the county superintendent. I have the support from a lot of people that want me to continue as the county superintendent because I work with them. I serve them. They know my passion for the students. They know my leadership experience. They know my background. They know how relevant it is to the job. And I ask that for the opportunity to continue serving as Riverside County Superintendent Schools on June 8th. Thank you very much. Continuous 
school improvement. A vote for me would be a better trained workforce and increasing employment as high paid industries see our county as a place where operating costs are low and highly capable employees are ready and available to fill their vacancies. With my experience in so many positions of leadership, interim superintendent, assistant superintendent, principal, and of course a classroom teacher, I am the most experienced and qualified candidate for this position. I have been responsible, I have been responsible for the day-to-day -day operations of an entire school district as well as a site administrator. We are at a critical juncture in this moment of time and it is going to take strong leadership in order to move us forward. By moving forward and staying on the cutting edge, we will once again resume our rise to the top. By doing so, we all stand to benefit by inevitable economic expansion. Thank you.